Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draft or create an A-line pattern uh, using, or A-line dress pattern, using our digital knee-length dress block that you can find on the designlab.london website. I'm gonna demonstrate how to create a custom length. I'm gonna show you how to create princess darts, separate the block into four panels, and then add the A-line flare. I'm also gonna show you how to add that circular hem and then a little bit of beautiful, or add some beautiful curves to the block to create that really lovely shape over the body. Um, okay, so one thing, if you are new to digital pattern making in Adobe Illustrator, then I highly recommend you take a look at our free online courses. It's gonna give you all the basics and all the information you need to follow along with this tutorial, along with a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. We also have tutorials and show you how to turn digital pattern into a PDF pattern, which is quite exciting. Anyway, also make sure you check out the notes or description of this tutorial on the YouTube page, but also on the blog page. There's gonna be a whole bunch of really important links there that's gonna take you to that dress block download and also the pattern making course and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff as well. Anyway, in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna crack on with this tutorial. I'm gonna jump on the Mac, so come and join me and I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm doing is I have downloaded the basic knee length dress block from the designlab.london website. I'm just going to, I've downloaded that folder to my desktop and I've unzipped it and this is the folder. I'm just gonna double click that to open it up. I'm gonna go to editable patterns and then Adobe Illustrator format because we're gonna be editing this pattern in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm just gonna double click on that folder and then I'm gonna find the, let's say the editable knee length basic dress block UK8. Let's just double click to open that in Adobe Illustrator and here is our dress. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get my big selection tool, I'm gonna to click and drag over uh, the entirety of the back and front pattern. I'm not gonna worry about the sleeve. Uh, we can, you know, we can add whatever sleeve you want to. But I'm just focusing on the A-line shape today. So I'm just gonna, once I've got this whole thing selected, so big selection tool, click and drag over the whole element. I'm just gonna go edit, copy, and then file new document because I don't want to uh, basically ruin that previous document. In other words, I don't want to edit this and then save it because it'll save it back to my folder and it'll overwrite that UK8 dress block. So I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to make it 500 centimeters width. You can also choose inches if you prefer to work in inches. Uh, so width and height 500 cm and just click create. And here is our new artboard. And so just a few, a little bit of information here. So we have a whole range of courses and tutorials uh, that are designed to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator as a pattern cutting platform. And they're completely free for you to take a look at and learn in your own time. Uh, you probably want to have a look at those tutorials before you start working with this A-line dress block if you're unfamiliar with Adobe Illustrator as a pattern making platform. Anyway, in this new document, I'm just gonna go file uh, and then we're just gonna go, sorry, edit. And then I'm just gonna paste that in. And here is my pattern. We've got loads of space to work with, which is great. Also, a few little helpful tips and tricks. So if you hold down space on your keyboard, you get this little hand. If you click and drag, it allows you to move around the page just by simply clicking and dragging while holding down the space key. If you want to zoom in, just hit Command or Control on your keyboard, Command and Plus to zoom in a few times, and Command minus to zoom out. With these two tools, it helps you obviously navigate the page, zoom in, zoom out, makes things far easier. Okay, so this is our dress block, which is great. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, set up a few little options here. So I want to figure out what dress length we're gonna use. So uh, this is a knee length dress and this is our hip line. Now I haven't measured this because this is a very quick tutorial, but essentially I'm gonna make this dress, let's say 90 centimeters long from the side neck point, which is this point here. So that's the side, neck, the side of your neck uh, down to the hem. I'm gonna make that about 90 centimeters. To do that, I'm gonna go to my circle tool I'm just gonna simply click and drag a circle, but holding down the shift and option key at the same time. That will allow you to draw a circle extending out from that central point. If you didn't hold down shift and alt, you'd get some whatever shape you wanted. So holding down shift and alt will lock it to that position. And I've drawn it specifically at that top point there. So let's do that again. I'm gonna go to that little top point. I'm gonna shift and alt on my keyboard and then click and drag to create a little point. Great, and actually you know what? I'm gonna make this, oops, I'm gonna give this a line fill of our Pattern Lab blue color. And I'm also gonna make it three so we can see it clearly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this point, get my big section tool, click on this point, hit enter on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna go zero horizontally, and we're gonna go vertically down by 90 centimeters. Okay, this is all set up in centimeters, but you could also type in inches if you want to, but that would be huge, so just 90 cm. I'm gonna click copy. Now you can't see it because it is all the way down the page. Okay, as you can see, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see that that is 90 cm. In fact, that's quite long. Let's make that about, let's make it 75. Copy. Now once again, you can make this as long as you like, 
but I'm going to make it 75 centimeters just so we can fit it on the page a little bit easier. So this is our point. We've now moved the point down to this location. So now I'm going to get my line tool just up here on the left hand side. And then from that point, I'm going to click and then draw out to the left hand side. I'm going to hold down my shift key and that will lock it to the horizontal. Okay, so we can't go up or down. If we didn't, it would be all over the place. And then get my small selection tool. I'm going to click on that line, click on that point and then click and drag. Once again, hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal. I can get rid of that point now, don't really need it. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to then um, shorten my block length. And to that, I'm gonna get my small selection tool, I'm gonna click and drag over these, this bottom, these bottom elements here, these bottom points. Uh, so we've only have these bottom elements selected. And then gonna click and drag on this line, take it up. Now, once again, make sure you hold down the shift key to lock it to the vertical, otherwise you're gonna have some really weird patterns. Hold down the shift key, I'm gonna drag it up until we meet that blue line, great stuff. I can then get my small section tool, select that line, and then hit backspace a few times. So we now have a more manageable block length. Okay, there's one other thing that I want to do. For this A-line dress, I need to have a top hip line. So at the moment, we only have our, hip, our waistline and our hip line. I need to have a top hip line. So I'm gonna get my line tool. I'm gonna to click and drag across the whole of the block. Hold, remember, hold down the shift key. Now, the top hip line is roughly halfway between your waist and your hip. So I'm gonna, so I've drawn this line roughly about halfway, but we're not sure if that is halfway. So I'm gonna get my, um, let's get our small section tool. I'm gonna hold down the shift and option key on my keyboard. I'm gonna select this line. I'm gonna select this line, and I'm also going to select the hip line. So we have these three lines selected, and we did that using our shift and option key while we selected them. So you once again, hold down the shift and option key. You can click and drag over these three lines if you like, or you can select them independently, but you must be holding down the shift an option key on your keyboard. Then we're presented with these whole bunch of little align options up top here. I'm gonna go vertically distribute center. And what that does is that basically makes sure that it is directly equal. So it's directly in the middle of the waist and hip line. And we can even just go, we can select this line with our small selection tool, go to the eyedropper tool and then just click on this line to get the attributes of that line. The eyedropper tool allows you to find the attributes of any line and apply it to the one that you've selected. So now we have our top hip line. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my small selection tool, click on the outline of our block, go to the add anchor point tool, just up here, and I'm gonna add an anchor point just there. I'm gonna do the same thing, go to my small selection tool, click on the outline, go to my add anchor point, and click a point just there as well. Then next we're gonna to go to our um, anchor point tool, and we're then going to just simply click Hang on, the reason why is because this line is on top. So I'm gonna select the outline of that line, go to the um, curve anchor point tool and just click. And I'm gonna click here as well. And that removes any shaping, which is really important. And we don't necessarily need this. So once again, select the line or just click on the outline of that block, go to the um, anchor point tool and just click and click. And that will remove the shaping. Perfect. Also, uh, I'm just gonna get my small section tool, click on this line, click on the point and drag it in, hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal. I'm gonna get my snip tool, my scissor tool. I'm just gonna snip here, get my small selection tool, click on that point and drag it over, hold down the shift key until it matches. Same with this one, click and drag that point in. So basically I'm gonna be speeding up a little bit now, but there's a few tools or a few shortcuts that are really handy. So if I hit V on my keyboard, we get the big selection tool and you can see it changes. So if I go to A, that is my small selection tool, you can see it changing here. V is my big selection tool, C is my cut tool, I is my eyedropper, and I think the weird uh, backslash on my keyboard is the line tool, but I'm gonna be using A and V quite a lot, and also C, which is the cut tool. So A is small selection, V is big selection, and C is cut. So let's go to A, which is my small selection tool. Okay, this is great. So now what I need to do is I need to separate my block. I want to create a princess line or princess A line dress. So I'm gonna get the outline of my block, I'm then gonna get my scissor tool, so I'm gonna to hit C on my keyboard. I'm gonna snip this point. And I'm also gonna trace a line down, and I'm gonna snip directly down from that dart. Oh, hang on, there's one more thing that we need to do, apologies. So what I wanna do is, uh, we need to bring this dart in line with this dart. So I'm gonna get my line tool. I'm gonna to click from that point and draw a line across. Hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal. I'm gonna get my small section tool, click on this line, click on that point, click and then drag down and so our darts are in line, which is looking great. Sorry, so now we're gonna separate our block. So once again, I'm gonna get my small section tool, so A on the keyboard, click the outline, get my scissor tool, snip, and then I'm gonna trace a line down from that lower dart, and I'm just gonna hit C, oh, sorry, just snip that part there. 
And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my dart, because this is all one item. So small selection tool, select the outline, C to for my cut tool, and then snip at the top and snip at the bottom. Next I'm going to get my A, so my small selection tool. I'm going to click on that point, hold down the shift key, click on that line, click on that point, right click and then join. And that will join this point to this point, so we're slowly building this block. Also I'm going to use a really handy tool called the Pathfinder Unite. So go to Window and then Pathfinder. And it should also be here on your right hand side. And I'm just going to simply, with this side selected, so these two points are open, I'm just going to click the Unite tool and that will basically join or unite that block to be one whole item. Now I'm going to do the same for the back panel. So I'm going to get my small selection tool, so A on my keyboard, click on that line, click on that point, hold down the shift key, click on the line, click on the point, right click, join, and then once again, Pathfinder Unite. So now these are two completely separate items. Well, once they're ungrouped, once they are ungrouped, now let's ungroup it a few times. So now they're two completely separate items. But unfortunately, uh, we want to take these lines with us. So let's just zoom in. So these two are separate, which is great. So let's select this, let's A on our keyboard to get the small selection tool. Click on this line here, then hit C on your keyboard to get the snip tool. I'm going to snip it at that point. Let's hit A on our keyboard to get the small selection tool. I'm going to click on that line and then click and drag that point over. Same with this one. Select the line, hit C to get the cut tool, snip it there. Same with this bus point or bus line. So A on your keyboard to get the small selection tool, then C on your keyboard to snip it. Great. Now, these are all separate items, which is great. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna select the whole of this block, and I'm gonna go object, and then ungroup, and I'm gonna ungroup it a few times. Now there's a shortcut here, which is shift. I'm using a Mac, so that's my command sign and G. So it'd be shift control G for you, for, um, PC users and shift command G to ungroup for Mac users. I'm just going to go shift command G. I'm going to hit that a few times on my keyboard until it's all ungrouped. So they're all completely separate items now, which is great. I'm going to get my big section tool, click and drag over the whole of this back panel, trying to get all those elements in that we need for the back panel. And I'm going to go object and then group. That's also command G on your keyboard as well. And then I can just click and drag this over. So using the big section tool, just click and drag that over, hold down the shift key so it's still in line with the existing block. And I'm going to do exactly the same for this one. So big selection tool, which is V on your keyboard. Click and drag this whole element here, then go Command-G on my keyboard to group it. So now we move them, they're completely grouped objects, which is great. I'm just going to click and drag this over to meet its existing block. I'm going to do exactly the same with the front now. We're going to have a princess line concept. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure, so with my line tool, I'm going to measure the distance between this point and this point because I want my princess seams to match up on the shoulder. So I'm going to simply click and then drag. And if you click and drag and hold it there, you can see it gives you some information in that little gray box. And it says 6.05 centimeters. So I know that this is 6.05 centimeters. I'm going to click on this point here. I'm going to type in 6.05. And then let's give it a rough angle. Oh, the shoulder's roughly about that, about 15 degrees. Let's click OK. OK, I didn't get it perfect, but that's not a problem. Because once the line's been drawn, I can go to my rotate tool. I can click on this point, and then I can just rotate that until it meets that line. And it hasn't got a fill color, so let's just double click. It hasn't got a line color. Let's call it 62B4C7, which is our pattern lab blue. And let's make this three points. There you go, now you can see it. So once again, you click on that rotation point and that allows you to rotate it around that point and we're just going to lock it to that line. Great, so now we know where our dart needs to be. So uh, I'm not a fan of this side dart here, I want it to go all the way to the shoulder line. So I'm going to get my small selection tool, I'm going to click on the line, then click on that point and drag it to its existing bust location. Do exactly the same with this dart, click on the outline, click on the point and drag it up. Great stuff. Next I'm going to get my small selection tool, click on this block here. I'm going to get my scissor tool, I'm going to snip here, and I'm also going to snip where that blue line is. So now we should have a completely separate piece, you see. I'm then going to go to my Unite tool, Pathfinder Unite, and just unite that block. Same with this one. I'm going to get a small section tool, click on this pattern here, and then Unite. So now we have two completely separate pieces. So next I'm going to rotate and close this dart. I don't actually need this line anymore, so I'm going to get a small selection tool, so A on your keyboard. I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to get my big selection tool, click and drag. Okay, so the whole thing's grouped, that's not a problem. So if you remember, our ungroup is Shift-Command-G. I'm going to do it a few times on my keyboard, so Shift-Command-G a few times. Now everything should be completely separated, which it is. I'm just going to get my big section tool, click and drag over this whole element here. I'm going to go to my rotation tool, 
click on that bus point and I'm just going to click and drag and rotate that dart closed. Great, so now we have more of a princess line concept. And I'm just going to get my small section tool, click and drag over these two items because I want to join these together. And then I get my unite and unite them. Now sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. If for some reason you click the unite and it doesn't work, it means that these lines are not overlapping enough. So you could always go add an anchor point, click on this point here, small selection tool, and then click and drag that point into the other block. You see, we're just dragging it into the other block. So click and drag over both of those elements now. I'm just gonna go unite. And as you can see, we've got no line, it's perfect. We have got a little element here, which is the remainder of that. So I'm gonna go to my minus anchor point and just delete that a few times. And do we have one there? Okay, we had a few there. So if you've got, we have two there, because if I click it once, it doesn't disappear. If I click it twice, it does. So you can always remove that if you want to. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is, I'm going to separate this block up, like we did with the back. So I'm gonna get my small section tool, click on this dart. I'm gonna get my scissor tool. I'm gonna to snip at the top of the dart and the bottom of the dart. I'm then gonna trace a line down. There we go. I'm just gonna snip on the outline of that block, and I'm also gonna cut it here as well. So now we can join this to this, and we should get a two separate panels. So in a small section tool, click on this uh, line here, click on that point, hold down the shift key, click on that line. Ah, okay, that's all right, we can't see the point because this line is actually underneath. So I'm gonna click on this line first, then click on that point, then hold down the shift key, and then click on that point. Right click, we're going to join them. And then once again, I'm going to, you see these two points need to join, I'm just gonna click Unite, great. I'm going to do the same for this panel. I'm going to click on this point here, or click on this line, click on the point, click on this line, click on the point. We're going to right click and then join. And then once again, we're going to unite. So now these two panels are completely separate, which is great. But obviously, we need to take that information with us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this line has already been separated, which is good. We can tell that by hitting A on our keyboard and selecting those lines separately. These two are separate, this one is not. So I'm going to A on my keyboard for the small selection tool, click on this line, hit C on my keyboard for the cut tool, snip, and then get my small selection tool, click on the line, and then click and drag that over. Same with this one, select, then hit C on my keyboard to cut, and that should be it. Now what I'm going to do is get my big selection tool, so V on your keyboard, I'm going to click and drag, oh hang on, we should take the bust circle with us. We can remove that line, we don't need it. So small selection tool, A on your keyboard, and then C, I'm gonna snip it here and here. Do the same here and also here. And then these little elements, so A on your keyboard for the small selection tool, backspace, delete, backspace, delete. Great, looking very clean. So, gonna get my big section tool, so V on your keyboard. Gonna click and drag this whole element here. I'm gonna hold down the shift key because I didn't manage to get the bust in. Gonna hold down my shift key and then click the bust as well. Gonna go object and then group or command G on your keyboard. I can then click and drag that off to the right hand side. Oh, we've lost our little design lab logo. Look at that, there we go. Okay, so just big section tool, click and drag over that, and then it's just object and then group it again. And then click and drag that off to the right hand side, hold down the shift key to keep it in line. And we do the same for this one, click and drag over the whole element, object and then group, which is great. So now these are two separate elements. I'm just gonna click and drag that back into its location. Let's zoom in. There we go, we can use this bottom line here. There we go. You can even nudge with the arrow keys on our keyboard. If you nudge with the arrow keys, you can move the, it around the board in small increments. Right, so let's turn this into a princess line shape. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I am going to shape, I'm gonna curve, give a bit of curvature to this point here because we don't want a point in the bust. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to my add anchor point tool. I'm just gonna add my anchor point at that bust circle here and here. I'm then going to uh, get my small section tool. I'm gonna to click on this point and fortunately, you see how we have two points there? We need only one. We can't work with two. So my remove anchor point tool, remove one of those points. Now, you can see if I click on that line and click on the point, we're presented with this little toggle. I'm just gonna click and drag that out until it gets red. Now we've created a little bit of smoothing over that bust, which is looking lovely. So I'll show you that again. We did a little tutorial on this recently. Click on the line, click on the point. You won't see that if there are two points here. So if you don't see that, just get your minus anchor point or delete anchor point and then just delete one point from there and you should be presented with this little handle. Hopefully you can see that. It's so gonna click and drag that all the way out until the line becomes red and that's great. 
Okay, so next what we're gonna do. Um, right, so now we're going to get onto the exciting part, which is actually we're gonna do the same for the back as well. You see how we have this point here? I want to smooth this just so uh, it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. I can smooth these points. So I'm gonna get that little, um, I'm gonna get my small section tool, click on that point, that little handle appears. I'm just gonna click and drag it. Now it's not gonna go red because we haven't got any points to lock it. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna click and drag it to about there. And you know I'm gonna do about roughly the same with the opposite side. Click and drag it to roughly, these handles go quite far out, roughly about there. There you go, it's nice and smooth. Same for this one, click and drag it. Where's that handle? Click and drag it so it's nice and smooth. Do the same for this side. I'm gonna click and drag it until we get a nice shape. There we go, lovely. Look at that, gorgeous. Okay, so next what we'll do is we're gonna start actually creating our A-line shape. So to do this, I'm gonna add some lines. So I'm gonna use my line tool. I'm gonna to start off at this point here. So we'll st we're starting from the top hip line, okay? I'm gonna simply, with my line tool selected, I'm gonna click that point and it gives me line segment tool options. Now the length, I'm gonna make it about <clears throat> 35 centimeters, and the angle, I'm gonna make 254. Now I've already calculated these angles, and that's, this is the angle that I'd like for the flare of my skirt. You could make it less or more, it's completely up to you. I'm gonna, so you could make this, let's say, 300, no, not 300, it would have to be about, what, 270 perhaps, no. Uh, 260, so you could have different, you see, 260 is a different angle, I'm gonna go for 254, which is slightly more, let's say, flared. So play around with the angles here, it's up to you, but I'm gonna click OK. I mean, to be fair, what you could do, you could even, let's say, click and drag to find the angle that you're, you're looking for. So it could be quite a small A-line, it could be quite a dramatic one, it's completely up to you. But always look at the angle. So in that little gray box, we have got 253 degrees. So always look for the angle, so you know, uh, and write it down so you know for next time. So I'm just gonna simply click, and I'm gonna go 254 because this is the A-line that I'm looking for. Click OK. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to select this line with my big section tool, and then gonna right click, I'm gonna go transform, reflect, and then vertical copy. Okay, so now we have basically reflected that, so it's exactly the same on the opposite side. I'm gonna get my big section tool and drag that into position exactly where it's, let's say, cousin is, or it's, I don't know, it's the opposite one. So now the A-line flow is exactly the same over the side front dart. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to get my big section tool, I'm going to select this line, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and select this line. I'm then going to copy them, so Command-C on my keyboard and Command-V to paste them. And I'm going to take them over to this side. Let's just zoom in. And let's just move this so that it's in line. That's pretty good. I'm going to get this line, big section tool, I'm just going to use my arrow keys to nudge this over until they're in line. You could just take it away. Click and then drag to get that point. Click and then drag to get that point as well, which is looking good. So we now have the same flare on both the back and the front. Now let's work on the side seam. So I'm not gonna go from the top hip here, I'm going from the side seam. I'm just gonna simply click. Now I already know this, and mine's gonna be 248. Oh, sorry, uh, let's make this 45 centimeters and 248. Okay, so we have quite a dramatic angle, but once again, you could always you know, experiment with the flareiness of your skirt, it's completely up to you, but I'm gonna go for 248 as an angle. Then once again, get my big selection tool, so be on my keyboard, select the line, and then right click, transform, reflect, and then copy. And then I'm just gonna move that into position on the opposite side, which is looking great. Okay, so these are the flares, and it's all maybe a little bit confusing, there's a lot of lines crossing, so I could get my big selection tool, click and drag on the front only, and then click and drag that over off to the right hand side. But don't forget, hold down the shift key so we lock it to the horizontal. We wanna keep these waist and topic lines in line. Right, okay, so next what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna draw a line, so I'm gonna get my line. I'm gonna click and draw a line out. I'm gonna hold down my shift key so it locks it to the horizontal. And this is gonna be the line that's gonna cut off these little segments here. Do the same for the back as well. Click and drag, hold down the shift key to align to horizontal. And now I'm gonna get my selection tool, big or small, doesn't matter. I'm then gonna get select the line, and I'm gonna get my, my cut tool, so C on the keyboard. I'm gonna snip, let's select this line, snip, select this line, and then snip. And then I can just get my small selection tool, click and drag, and remove all those lines. I can even get rid of that guideline as well. Same here, select the line, cut, remove that. Select the line, cut it select the line, cut it, using these shortcuts on my keyboard. 
and we can also get rid of this line as well. Okay, great. So now we're going to start transforming this into an A line. So I'm going to simply select my existing block here and I'm just going to cut it because I want this line to be joined to my pattern. I don't want this line here anymore. So I'm just going to let's zoom in. I'm going to simply select the outline of my, um, I believe this is the front panel here. Yeah. I'm just going to get my cut tool. I'm going to snip it here and I'm going to snip it here. And then small selection tool. I'm going to select that piece we've snipped away and just hit backspace a few times on my keyboard. Do the same for the opposite side. I'm going to snip and I'm also, sorry, also going to snip at the waist. Let's remove that. And now we're going to start joining these up. So, so I've got a little bit of hiccups. So I'm going to simply small selection tool, click on that point, hold down the shift key, click on the opposite point, right click, join. And now I'm just going to unite and that should then unite the whole of that block with the new A-line concept. Once again here, I'm going to select the line. So let's select the outline of this block, select the point, hold down the shift key, select the line, select the point, right click, join. I'm going to click on this point, click on this point, right click, join, and then we're just going to unite. And that's our front pretty much done. And I can also, small selection tool, click on that point, drag that out, hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal. These are our little guidelines that tell us where the hip and the top hip and the waist is, etc. There we go, let's just click and drag, move them out. Same for this one, click the line, find the point, click and drag it out. I think that's pretty good. Let's just make sure these are all groups. Okay, so at the moment the details are, but the pattern outline isn't. So let's just click the outline of the pattern. Let's hold down the shift key and click these inner panels. And then just go object and then group. And I can do the same for this one. Let's just click and drag over the pattern and also the elements and go object and then group. So now these are two completely separate items. You can see we've got a bit of flare going on, which is great. Let's do the same for the back. So small selection tool, click on the outline, snip, snip. Select the outline, snip, snip. There we go. I can just drag this line out quickly, drag it out holding down the shift key. Let's arrow move that out a little bit. There we go. Lovely, looking good. Next I'm going to join my pattern. So hold, so select the line with the small selection tool, click the point, click the line, click the point, right click, join. Once again, click that point, right click, oops. So this line first, click, click, and then join. And we can then unite the bottom. Same here, let's click the panel. Join. Great stuff. Okay, so we've done the back and the front. Just gonna make sure the, okay, so the labels and the pattern. So it's a big section tool. Click and drag over the, both the labels and the pattern. Object, group, same for this one. Object, and then group. Smashing. Right, so now, as I said, they're completely separate elements. So now we're actually going to start creating our A-line shaping, so the curvature of this A-line shape. So to do that, really simple, uh, let's start off with the front panel. I'm going to click on this point here, so where the top hip line meets. I'm going to click and drag that over to meet the, the front panel's top hip point. I'm going to get my rotation tool, which is just here. I'm going to click on that point, and then I'm going to click on this line and drag it to rotate it around that point until those two lines meet. Lovely. Let's do the same with the back panel. Click on this outline and then I'm going to click and drag that till those panels meet uh, at some point. There we go. Get my rotation tool, click on that point, rotate these panels out. Great stuff. You know what, we can get rid of that little blue thing, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so now we're going to create some shaping. But to do that, I want to get both of these panels here. So get my big section tool, click on both these panels. I'm going to find my waist point, click and drag that over to the opposite side until those two meet. Let's just make sure they're meeting. So click and drag this waist point to this waist point, make them meet, go to my rotation tool, click, and then I'm gonna click and drag this line out until they meet. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing there. So originally it was like this. I'm just gonna rotate around that point until these lines meet. So this is the full flare of your skirt, of your A-line. Uh, skirt, sorry. So we've got a lot of mess of things going on here, but that's fine. I'm going to get my line. Let's make it, yeah, quite bold. So three is good. And then what I'm going to do is from my side seam here, I'm going to click and drag and draw a line from the hem to the waist point. Okay. And then I'm going to get my small section tool, click on the line, click on that point. I'm going to click and extend it. Okay. So I'm extending through that line. So I'm extending the line of that side seam until we hit the center front. And there should be a little line through the center of it that gives you an indication that it's lined up. So if I do that, you can't see a pink line. If I do that, you can see a pink line, you see? So that's the extension of it. I'm then going to get my circle tool. I'm going to hold down the shift and option key. I'm just going to click and drag a little point there. 
So that is my center of rotation. Uh, sorry, my center of the circular skirt. So we're drawing a line from this point to the side seam, then to the center front. And you can sell this to the center front because that's the neckline. And this is where I'm going to create my circular skirt. But first I need to find out what the length of my circular skirt is. So I'm going to click, I'm going to get my line tool just here. I'm going to click from the center of that point, click and drag a line down until we get to the very bottom of the hem. That is 46.09 centimeters. In that little gray box, it says 46.09. So I know that the length of that line is 46.09. So next I'm going to go to my circle tool. I'm going to click in the center. So click in the center. I'm going to do 46.09 and then times, which is the little star key on your keyboard, two. And that will give us the diameter of this circle, which is 92.18. Let's just add that there, 92.18. Click, because obviously the measurement from here to here is the radius, we want the diameter. So it's 92.18, 92.18. Click OK. Ah, OK, didn't do something here. So go to your circle tool again. You know what, I've forgotten the length of that line. OK, let's click and drag. It's probably good to do it again. That is 46.09. I'm going to write that here, 46.09. There we go, 46.09. Now, I'm going to get my circle tool. I'm going to get my circle tool, just like that. And I'm going to hit Shift and Option. I'm going to hold down Shift and Option. I'm going to go to the center of that point, and I'm going to click. That basically tells it that I'm drawing a circle emanating from the center of that point. And actually, it's already remembered what I had in last time, which is good. But let me just show you again. 46.09, star key on your keyboard. So that's for me, it's Shift and the 8 key. And then 2, we're timesing that by 2 which gives us 92.18 and then click OK. And now we have a beautiful circle that is pretty much the length of our front. That's great. And you can see here where we need to basically snip this block to create that beautiful curvature. But there's also something to mention here. Um, if you want to make your, if you feel your circle skirt or your A-line dress is a little bit too small, uh, you could always at this point, if you select this with your big section tool and you go to this little end, this little, um, free transform point, you can click and drag, but you always have to make sure, you see how it's going away from the center here? Make sure you hold down Shift and Alt on your keyboard. So you can make it smaller, you can make it as large as you want. So this is a really good time to play around with the length of your skirt. If you got it wrong the first time around, you can now do that. And it's just by holding Shift and Option and clicking on that little free transform point. Okay, so really cool. Um, anyway, let's go back to what we're doing. You know what, actually, I am going to make this a little bit bigger because it's quite short. It's going to be a little bit inappropriate. And I want to show you also how to lengthen these lines, etc. So this is going to be our new, uh, let's say, well, let me show you both methods because we need to cut this block as well. So this is the new length. I'm then going to get my scissor tool. So with my circle selected, I'm going to snip here. I'm going to snip at that point where that intersects, where that intersects. This is going to be tricky because we have got a point very close to it. So let's just zoom in on that. There we go. I'm going to snip it just there. I'm going to snip it here as well. And now if I hit backspace a few times, we have only got the hemline, which is looking fantastic. OK, so next what we'll do is I'm going to now amend these panels so it suits the, the bottom of this hem. Uh, so I'm going to get my small section tool, select that panel, get my scissor tool, snip, snip. I can then just backspace delete that. Select this one, snip, snip, hit backspace a few times, select this line, snip, snip, backspace a few times, select, snip, snip, etc. You've got the point. Great, so now this is our beautiful hemline. You know what? Let's get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to get my small section tool, click and drag over these two end, little endpoints here. I'm going to right click and then join. And now my pattern, yeah, it's probably gone blue, but that's fine. We can go to our eyedropper tool and just with it selected, just click on that pattern line. In fact, let's make it two so we can see we know we've done this one. But then before you move on, just with that outline selected, just go to the Unite tool and just unite it to make sure it's one whole item, which is great. And also, I'm going to lock this down because I don't want to use this pattern anymore, not at this point anyway. So I'm going to go to, with it selected, I'm going to go to Object and then Lock Selection. This is also Command 2 on your keyboard or, yeah, Control 2, depending if you're using a Mac or a PC. So that's now locked, we can't do anything to that panel. So I'm just going to get my big my small section tool, click and drag over those two points, right click, join. And then once again, unite. I'm going to get my eyedropper tool and then just click the outline and then command two to lock that panel down. Once you start using shortcuts, you're going to speed up a huge amount to get, really get you the hang of them. So A on my keyboard to get my small section tool, click and drag, right click, 
join, unite. Eyedropper tool is I on the keyboard. Select that line, Command 2 to lock it down. A to get my small selection tool, click and drag over those two endpoints. Right click join, unite, eyedropper tool, which is I on the keyboard, select that line. Okay, great. I'm now gonna go object and then unlock all. So all of our patterns are available. Great, so we're almost getting there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my big section tool. Is this grouped? Okay, no. So we need to make sure the labels are with the pattern. So we're gonna move this away in a second. So let's get your big section tool, click and drag, and just simply object group. And we can move this over here. We'll sort out its rotation in a minute. We can just do that. Gonna get my big section tool, click and drag over these two elements, and then just go Command G to group. We can drag it out the way, put it over there if you like. Click and drag over these, group, Command G on your keyboard. Finally, Command G on your keyboard, great. Let's also, small section tool, delete that. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of shaping here. So I'm gonna get my line tool which I believe is the backspace on your keyboard. I'm gonna find the waistline here, I'm gonna click and drag, hold down the shift key, like that, so it sticks to the horizontal, I'm gonna draw a big line out. I'm then gonna get my side front panel, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna find the waist point, click and drag that over to here, try and match that up, you might have to zoom in to match it perfectly. And then go to my rotation tool, which is R on the keyboard, or it's just over here. Click on that point, rotate it until those waistlines match, Let's go to my side back panel, click on the waist point, click and drag it over to this line, get my rotation tool, click on that point, rotate it into position. Same with this one, let's get our waistline, click and drag it over, hit rotation tool, click and drag, let's rotate that down, looking great. Okay, so I'm just gonna separate these blocks out, so big selection tool, click on that block, hold down the shift key so it sticks to the horizontal, Let's just move these out a little bit so we can see them a bit clearer. There we go, looking amazing. Right, now we're gonna add a little bit of curvature to this block. So, first of all, let's just get rid of that line. In fact, no, we're gonna keep that line. But you know what, that back panel, I'm just gonna move that down ever so slightly because it's not in line. I'm gonna get this line here, and I'm going to, I'm gonna get my big section tool, click on the line, hit the enter key, hit zero for horizontal, and then vertical, I'm gonna go minus 3.5 centimeters and hit copy. I'm gonna click on that middle line again, hit enter on my keyboard, zero for horizontal, and we're gonna go 3.5, not minus, but 3.5 and hit copy. So we've gone 3.5 up and 3.5 down. Gonna grab all three of these lines, big section tool, click and drag over all of them. Let's just make that a little bit, that's quite imposing. Let's make it two, and let's go object, and then let's group it. So now I want to curve this area and this area across all of my panels. So I'm gonna get my, um, I'm gonna click the middle of this line, click and then drag down, but hold down the option key and you will duplicate it, you see? So hold down the option key while you drag. I'm gonna drag that middle line so it meets the top hip line. And now let's just get our small section tool. I'm gonna to click and drag, click and drag and delete those inner lines. This just gives us parameters from where we're going to curve these lines. I'm gonna get my small section tool, click and drag over these whole elements here and then go object and then lock selection. Now I'm gonna get my my add anchor point tool, I'm gonna to add an anchor point here, 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 here. I'm gonna stop saying here, because it's probably quite annoying. All of these points that are gonna be curved, we're not gonna add one here because there is no curvature required. So here and here, also here and here. Perfect. And then when you get a small section tool, I'm gonna to click on this point, and you can see we have a little handle. So this, these points define the curvature, we can't go any further than that. So that's why we're using those guidelines and adding those plus anchor point tools. So I'm just gonna, once again, click that little bezier handle, click and drag, click and drag, same for this one, click and drag. And if you can't for some reason see that point, it's because you've got two points overlapping. So just use your minus anchor point and just remove it. Obviously if I did that there, we only had one point, so we'd, we'd lose it, but small section tool, click and drag here as well. This one might be a big one. Okay, so here we haven't got the point, you see, because we have two points overlapping or they're in the same space, that's it. So I'm just gonna get my small selection, sorry, my remove anchor point tool, just remove one of them, go to my small section tool, click on that point, and now we have the handle. Hopefully this one's the same. Ah, oh, okay, remove it, A, drag. Click and drag, this one's gonna be a big one. There we go. Oh, forgot this one. Smashing. Um, hang on a second, there we go. 
click on this point, click and drag. Okay, so now we have some really lovely smoothing, uh, smoothing curvature over the block, which is awesome. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful block. Um, so that's pretty much it for our A-line dress, but if you wanted to increase the length of this, then you're gonna have to wait till next week for our next tutorial. Okay guys, that's it from me. Okay, so don't, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and also turn on your notifications. We've got a whole load more content coming up and we would hate for you to miss it. Same thing I say every single week. Anyway, also check out our Instagram account for all the behind the scenes content and other cool tips and tricks when it comes to our products, tutorials, and also pattern making stuff. There's loads of really fun stuff coming up. Okay, also if you love this tutorial, then please make sure you leave us a comment below. We love hearing your feedback. And yeah, if you've got any recommendations or suggestions for content, let us know, we're always here to help. Anyway, thank you so much guys. I will see you next time, take care.